Hey guys, it's time to unbox the new phone here, which is from Oppo. It's actually my first ever Oppo phone. It's called SF1 Plus. So this is how the box looks like. Pretty amazing phone and uh, and also pretty amazing specs. Uh, we do have them written here on the back. So 16 megapixel front camera uh, and 64 gigs of internal memory. Uh, it has four gigs of RAM and also supports fast charging, has the fastest, uh, fingerprint sensor so I'm gonna be testing that out also comparing it to some of the flagship phones so also uh, you can see that the color information all that it's gold and uh, yeah let's just quickly open this one up so I do have my knife here and I'm just gonna slice this plastic okay there we go and uh, obviously if we talk about the price this phone costs me around four hundred and $60, okay, at least where I live it costs around $460 and of course I'll be leaving some international prices down below in the description box So make sure you check them out pretty amazing stuff Okay, and you can see full plain white box Oppo logo on both sides and I'm just gonna lift the box like this Okay, it's pretty easy There we go, and I'm just gonna lift this one up and take a look at inside so it's a big boy let's see here so we got the sim ejecting tool and obviously it comes with some guides also uh, we also get the wall charger this is how it looks like and of course it uh, should support fast charging also um, I can't really see it on the on the charger but I think it should support fast charging and here we have the USB cable for data transfer of course and then we get these ear paws also so I have never tried uh, these uh, of course I have never bought the Oppo phone before so uh, it will be fun to check them out and obviously they're looking like a little bit cheap you know Chinese so I can't really expect that much of great quality I mean currently if you ask me which one has the best ear pod, I think the LG has some of the best ear parts you know so I'm just gonna peel the plastic off okay here we go and wow this phone feels really good in hand uh, really slim and actually it looks a lot like the iPhone so if we just take a quick look here side by side iPhone 6s here wow you can see that they have pretty much the same adjustment I mean same um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack position, microphone, charging port, the speaker hole. So, wow, that was quite similar there. So now I'm just gonna peel this thing off, which uh, shows you some information that this device sports. Uh, this SIM card battery cannot be removed and all that important stuff. So you should keep this with you because there's some kind of uh, important information also there. So Oppo logo on the back. It feels really great in hand. Of course, I'm going to be doing a full review talking about everything about this phone. So I'm just going to boot this one up here. Here we go. And of course, I think this is a 5.5 inch display. Uh, full HD 1080p screen. And... Uh, and I'm not sure uh, what the Android version is, so we're just going to take a look at that. Oppo logo, and it does have this fingerprint sensor here, uh, not on the back, uh, on the front. And uh, Oppo claims that it's the fastest one, so I will also take a look at that. And it's really slim, it feels really light in hand, so you can see really quick when it comes to booting up. I'm just going to quickly go through the setup. Next. Okay, next. Uh, I'm just going to skip for the moment. Next, I think it, it is running Marshmallow because the menus are looking like a Marshmallow menu, so get started. Okay, so of course uh, that emotion type of UI uh, without any app drawer, so you can see uh, very less bloatware, just few apps. I really like uh, minimal setup here and this is how the notification panel looks like really cool so I'm just going to check out the main settings so I think here we have the app and you know the UI is looking very similar to a Huawei phone so where is the about device section here we go about phone and yeah this is actually color OS so yeah the, the, that's the name of their UI uh, sorry I have never tried the Oppo phone before so 
kind of a new to this uh, OS and of course Android version 5.1 Lollipop okay not Marshmallow uh, probably we'll, we will receive the update you know pretty soon I think because it's, it seems to be a top phone from Oppo and uh, you can see 4 gigs of RAM octa-core MediaTek processor uh, there we have the build number which you can uh, tap on and to unlock the developer mode so yeah, this is actually a home button, of course. You can hold it to access the uh, Google Now. Double tap. Okay, double tap does nothing. So yeah, you can. Uh, this this works pretty much the same as the iPhone's home button. So you can use it, of course, and uh, you can also use this to unlock. Uh, you know, of course, fingerprint sensor also embedded there. Uh, MediaTek processor feels to be really snappy. They also gave us a silicon pouch which comes right out of the box So I'm just gonna apply it here and uh, obviously this is for the protection of your phone and uh, It does feel nice in hand, but of course uh, without the silicon pouch you get the full uh, metallic feel, uh, feeling which I think is a little bit more better than having a pouch But again, you know everyone has their own uh, preference Oh, so 1080p display is looking clean. Uh, certainly not the brightest one that I have, but still it's it's good enough. And uh, also, uh, the back camera is 13 megapixel with LED flash, and the front camera is 16 megapixel. So let's quickly take a look at the camera. So of course, if I switch to the let's say back camera, you can see the UI is looking very similar to the to what we call the Huawei phones you know so of course this is a Nexus 6P by the way so you can capture the photo uh, we can also take a look at the video so um, on the top you can see that it, it gives us the information about the the video size or video resolution so you can record video videos in 720p or 1080p so no 4k and also you can enable flash right from this option and if you switch to the front camera, same option, you can switch to, let's see here, 1080p, okay, 720p, and then 1080p, yeah, no 4K. And again, the front camera uh, also has same kind of options as the back camera, so nothing that much new. But of course, the selfies will be way better compared to what we see on normal phones, you know. So of course, this is the gold version, but it has uh, white stuff on the front. So you can't really see that uh, the there are actually two touch buttons alongside with this uh, uh, home button. So there's a... Uh, multitasking button and there is a back key so this is how the multitasking area looks like uh, very similar to the iOS and uh, you can close all of them at, at once it also gives you information about the RAM you can see 2.11 gigabyte available out of 4 gigabytes so just want to close this and uh, yeah overall I should say that it's a nice phone I will be making more videos of course uh, so comparing it to the iPhone also you can see looking really similar from top to bottom uh, you get same stuff the power button on the right the volume rocker on the left and all that stuff on the on the bottom so yeah definitely it looks like an iPhone but still an Oppo phone Chinese uh, we'll be making more videos so catch you guys in my next one peace out